What's up guys, Ryan here. So this is part two of how to quickly improve your Amazon Merch niche research uh, process. Now, part two is not a requirement. It is really just a quicker way of finding niches because in part one, I really showed you how to quickly validate them just at a glance, like really just using two simple tools. So in this quick video, I'm gonna show you a couple different options using Merch Informer and Merch Titans. Both are paid tools. I think both have free trials. But if you want to uh, get niches suggested to you based on what's already selling well on Amazon, you're going to usually have to pay a little bit. Um, both of these are subscription based. I'm not just trying to get you to spend your money. It's really up to you if you want to do this. You could also just build lists of ideas manually and that works just as well. But there are some shortcuts here that I'll show you. So the first one I'm showing you is Merch Hunter on Merch Informer. And I've already performed the search because sometimes it takes like up to a minute to get these results. But what I've done here on Merch Hunter is sorted by top 1,000 to give us a wide range of results. Um, and then by sales rank, I typically like to actually switch this to 100,000 and above, which uh, I forgot to do. And when you forget to do that, you can kind of see here why you need to do that, right? So the first shirt is like a Friends play on the TV show, but it's the, uh, the movie It. And then you have like an MTV shirt. And down here... Uh, queen official crest i'm not sure what that is but a lot of these are protected by either copyright or trademark so they're kind of they're not available really for us to um to customize and make our own and sell in that niche so i'd actually go to a hundred thousand and above top 1000 here you go perfect so these designs the top three they are not well you'd still want to trademark search them but these do not stand out as like a brand like mtv so Really quickly, Merch Hunter, top 1,000. I always like to do the highest range possible. Uh, you can switch marketplaces, by the way, if you want to target UK and Germany. And then I like to do 100,000 and above. If you ever go to like the top 100,000 or you know the very top end, top range, you do get a lot of like Amazon Merch's partnerships with big brands like Marvel, MTV, whatever. You can also go to product search. If you know you want to target a specific niche, but you... Like when I say a specific niche, like I seeded this with the word school. So I'm getting a lot of school related shirts, but you can't just say like, this is a school shirt or this is a back to school shirt. Cause you're going to, if you go to video part one, which I'll put a link to, um, in the YouTube cards, if you just do broad niche targeting, you're going to get like thousands or tens of thousands of results that you're competing with and you're not going to get any visibility. So you're going to want to niche down within a niche. And this is a great way of doing that. So we seeded it with school. And then it says like birthday shark to do 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 to do. <laughs> it's a baby shark song. Uh, anyways, that's a great like niching down example. Uh, class of 2032. This one looks like it's probably yeah, descendants three. So stay away from that. Anyways, it gives you a bunch of ideas of related like sub niches to whatever you searched for. And then the last one's my favorite one. I've done a video on this in the past, but Trend Hunter is amazing. I like to expand to three months, two or three months, really. I always like the longer time period. And what this does is it evaluates like shirts that sold consistently well over this period of time. Average BSR, let's do, uh, so 300,000 to 500,000 I think is bugged right now. So 200,000 to 300,000 should work. Hit search and boom, just like that. We're seeing shirts that we're selling in the uh, 200 to 300,000 BSR range over the last three months. So steady sales. Just make sure that they uh, aren't trademarked. So like for instance, I have two titles, Mom and Mimi, and I rock them both. This design is not hard to make in my opinion. Like I'm pretty sure I could replicate something very similar. Again, don't rip it off. But like this as, a, as an idea, like just using some simple um, masking in Photoshop and some color overlays. Nothing too crazy. Um, Voltron, Defender of the Universe, obviously stay away. Stay away from anything edgy. Um, Space Force, all right, that shouldn't be too hard. This llama shirt, that's great design from someone who's got some really some real artistic chops. I wouldn't be able to replicate that. Um, literally anyone else, 2020, I've seen that before. Bigfoot saw me, but nobody believes him. So anyways, you're getting the, the gist here. I, I like to use this tool as a primary. It's called Trend Hunter. And then last, so it's called Trend Hunter. If, you, if you're in Merchant Former, it's down here on the bottom of the, the left-hand navigation. Last, I wanted to show you the uh, Titans Vault from my friends at Merchant Former. So they actually have a suite of Amazon Merch Seller tools and resources. 
Um, I haven't really done a full video highlighting it, but it is very good. I mean, it's based on Merchant Former, <laughs> I'm assuming, because Merchant Former came out first. But uh, it's it's very similar, and um, it's just not as popular, you know. So if I put out content in YouTube saying Merch Informer, it'll get more hits typically than if I put Merch Titans outside of their automation. So, but I just want to give them a shout out here. This works very well for ideas. Go to Titans Vault on the left hand side. Sort your top sellers. Like I said, I always like the bigger range, so I'm gonna go all the way to a thousand best seller range. Remember, I said if you go to that top end, you're gonna get a lot of trademark stuff. So let's pull this out to like five hundred thousand to three hundred thousand. Price range, I don't really care. Zero to 30. Reviews, doesn't bother me either. I'm going to keep it on merch standard t-shirts and .com. Those sell the best and they have the uh, highest profit margins. All right, and then boom, just like that, 453 results returned. Average BSR, right around 400K. Uh, minimum price, $13. Max, 26. Average price, 1810. All right, so Star Wars, we can't do that. Uh, LGBT pride shirt. That we should be able to do, even though I kind of stay away from that because I get a little worried. Fourth wedding anniversary shirt and a little pear meme. Okay. Mommy shark playing on that do 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 do, uh, the little song. Check your privilege. Okay. That's a little uh, towing a, a line that might piss some people off. Treble maker. I mean, that's probably super saturated. Anyways, guys, plenty of results returned. And as you saw, like, how hard was it to, for us to do that? I mean, using these tools took took like 30 seconds. Um, and if you watch part one, which you should check out if you haven't seen it, I show you how to validate these niches um, before you just jump into them and say like, okay, like, you know, let's, let's just immediately, we have an idea. Let's try to sell in that niche uh, because customers are clearly typing in these keywords and buying. Um, go ahead and hit the, you know, make sure you're, you have a decent chance at ranking on page one um, if you do opt to go after those niches. And I show you how to do that in uh, in the last video. Anyways, guys, thank you for checking this out. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, hit me up below, and I'll see you at the next one. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at riotsmethod.com. Thank you.